After Indian Army's massive effort, two-day-long cliff ordeal finally ended for Kerala trekker R. Babu. The much-awaited rescue happened 43 hours after the youth got stuck in the cavity. The rescue was done by two teams of the trained army personnel and NDRF. The teams climbed the hill from both the sides and then helped him to climb to safety. He was trapped in a cavity of a steep cliff after a trekking trip went awfully wrong in Malampuza Mountains in Palakkad. The youth slipped down the hill on the way down after trekking and got stuck in a cavity. Babu along with his friends went up the Karubachi hills for trekking. On their way down, Babu was exhausted and slipped on the rocks ending in a cavity in the hills. Even though his friends tried to rescue him, they were not successful. The group got down the hills and alerted the authorities. Sir, no, no. sir, very thanks, Indian Army, no. MRP, MRC, 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 Indian Army, and the no. Indian Army, Indian Army, Bala and joins us live uh, on this story. Shiv, two days without food and water, the 23-year-old man got tra uh, trapped in a hill cleft in Palaka district, finally got uh, rescued by the Indian Army. Uh, what heartwarming mo moments that we are playing out on our screens right now where uh, he's thankful to the Indian Army as well. Incredible video. I mean, just look at this video, Chethi, of Babu, you know, planting a kiss on each of those Javan's cheeks. I mean, that's that's not something you can stage manage. Uh, that's not something that can ever be scripted. This is a man literally thanking those soldiers, uh, you know, for giving him another lease of life. Uh, he'd fallen into that hill cleft on Monday while trekking with his friends. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, nobody knew where he was uh, until, uh, you know, the uh, authorities over there actually were able to reach him. And now you've got a situation where the para-regimental center, the Madras regimental centers, climbers, some of the best mountain climbers in the country were able to reach him. Uh, uh, you know, food was actually reached to him with ropes uh, over yesterday, so he, uh, you know, didn't exhaust himself. He was thirsty, he was hungry. And finally, as always, as we see so often, Jethi, it's the army that had to swoop in and finish the job. So, all's well that ends well. Thankfully, it was not a 127 hours, uh, you know, like the James Franco film that won an Oscar. This one lasted, uh, you know, about, about 36 hours, nearly two days. Uh, you know, this young man, Babu, 23-year-old trekker, uh, spent in that little hill cleft. Uh, uh, he's alive and well, and boy, does he have a story to tell, Chethi. Absolutely. Uh, thanks so much, Shiv, for joining us. Uh, what an incredible story uh, right there. And the Indian Army, of course, comes to rescue uh, of this particular man. 23-year-old uh, Babu has been rescued in Kerala. Uh, Shiv, do we have any first up reactions of him? We can see those heartwarming visuals on our uh, screens at the moment. But do, you, do we have a reaction coming in from him right now? In fact, we have Lieutenant General A. Arun. He's the General Officer Commanding of the Dakshin Bharat area of the Indian Army. He's the general who oversaw this entire rescue operation. He's the man that Chief Minister uh, of Kerala phoned yesterday asking for the army to be flown in. Uh, General Arun, great to have you here with us first and exclusive on India today. Uh, the first question I'm going to ask you, General, is, you know, we're all looking at these beautiful images of this young man, you know, kissing the Jawans. This is a man literally thanking the army for saving his life. What did you think when you saw these images, sir? I think uh, in, in, these, in, the, in the post COVID uh, world, uh, this is probably the happiest uh, set of pictures that I have seen in a long, long time. And I'm sure you and your viewers will agree with me on this. But this picture is a, is a result of, uh, of uh, about uh, 12 to 14 hours of uh, serious, uh, professional, back-breaking hard work by, by the set of outstanding soldiers of the Indian Army. How did it work out, sir? You know, uh, uh, we're looking at a situation where 
things were tried to rescue this young man, nothing worked out, and as always, we see the army come in at the end and finish the job. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for saying it or putting it that way. But uh, uh, we, 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 I got to know, um, I, I go over the sequence of yes. events as it manifested. Um, I got to know uh, yesterday evening at about uh, half past five or so, uh, the instant reaction was to mobilize a, a special forces team which is skilled in this job. So so the uh, team from the Parachute Regimental Center was uh, designated task, asked to expedite their launch. We got through the office of the Chief Minister to uh, get the Air Force to give them an airlift up to Sulur. Simultaneously, we moved a highly skilled mountaineering team from uh, one of our uh, regimental centers in Wellington, that's the Madras Regimental Center. They moved by road. The district collector of Palakkad did the rest of the magic in receiving and guiding them to the site of the accident. They walked through the night. They reached there in the morning at about 5. They did a quick recce of the place and decided the best way was down. But they did it multiple ways. They yeah. decided to get one team to descend down and another team to ascend up. Uh, now, gravity did the rest, and these two skilled mountaineers, you know, roped themselves and uh, moved down, uh, reached uh, Mr. Babu, who is the young trekker, uh, gave him a glass of water, probably a bar of chocolate and some glucose, <laughs> and he was fit to go. But they had to actually probably, I mean, saw the videos, they had to carry him all the way up, which is no uh, mean feat uh, given the terrain that exists there. So that's the short story. What's the feedback you're getting from your soldiers on the ground, sir? This seems like it was a pretty lightning-quick operation. The army, you know, made it look like child's play. <laughs> you know, I, I uh, all, all, all's well that ends yeah. well. So it seems, uh, it seems like that. Uh, but, uh, but they're, they're professionals. They're yeah. the best at what they do. And uh, I had made a commitment to the chief minister that we will give it our 100%. Uh, uh, we have to believe that we are a people's army. Yeah. And the, the, to be in the service of the nation, uh, no matter whether it's uh, guarding our territorial integrity, protecting our sovereignty, or coming to, to succor when people need uh, the help, uh, we will be there always and every time. Um, yeah. So uh, that's what it was. We were happy to be of service, particularly to, I mean, in my case, to the people of India, South India, and Kerala in particular. General Arun, we salute you, we thank you, we thank your team, we especially thank the climbers on the ground, you know, who executed this amazing rescue operation. Once again, people's faith in the army, uh, you know, is at its peak. Uh, we're not, they're not just guarding our borders, they're rescuing citizens whenever called upon to do so. So our salutes to all of the Javans who young Babu is so ecstatic to be with after that 36-hour ordeal in that cliff lab. General Arun, thank you very much for being with us. All right, uh, Shiv Arur, uh, with that uh, story right there, and of course, General Arun with... Uh, that first up reaction and walking us through all that transpired right there. Very heartwarming India Today exclusive. We're playing out on your screens at the moment. We'll revisit the story uh, for now. We're slipping into a very short commercial break. Lots more coming up on the other side. Stay with us.